and I'm kind of compartmentalized. Janelle is out of mind and out of sight for me right now. Yes, this is a struggle. My loyal wife and her children, we, we want something special. So I am blocking everything else out for today. There's this term of sacred loneliness because their husband's not around as much. Five years ago, I was fighting to keep it together. What has happened to me that has caused me to go feel relief when a woman's saying I'm leaving? Hello guys, welcome once again to our channel. If you're not subscribed, remember to subscription button down below to subscribe, like and comment. The more you like our videos, the more you to get to recommend our videos. Wow, this episode of um just the wives was the most upsetting thing that i've ever watched and i think every episode tends to top the annoyance that i have by what is happening especially my annoyance to Cody. every episode he tends to make me he tends to remind me even if Probably during the week, I've, I I tend to have forgotten about him. I watch a new episode. I tend to remember like, yeah, this is the reason why I dislike this guy. Oh, my God. I watch the episode. I'm like, oh, how could someone think like that? There was some, you know, there's some talking points that he was like, I was like, mm, what's going on here? Let's just talk about, firstly, I want to talk about the fact that what is with um, Robbie and always coming in the defense of Cody? Every single time she makes excuses for Cody. Cody is this, Cody is that, Cody is doing this, he's going through a lot of things, his mental state is bad, he's feeling dejected, he's feeling lonely, he's feeling like he's unappreciated, he's feeling like he has lost everything. How is it only Cody you should care for? There are other ladies involved in this, and the only person you can stand and say, Oh, Cody did this. Oh, the person that is feeling bad is Cody. He has literally treated Mary like uh, she's oblivious, like there's nothing there, like he doesn't see Mary. He doesn't remember that he's everly married to her. He has treated her like a bad person. He has treated her like, I, I don't want to see you in my presence. And the person you're feeling bad for right now is Cody. Cody has not been the man he should be. He hasn't been the man that you'll be like, okay, fine. I look up to this and I literally want to live a plural life. Watching. Cody and how he treated things, I certainly don't want to be that. And in today's episode, he had this discussion with his friend. I'm going to say something that might really be upsetting to a lot of people. I feel this friend of his is another problem he has. Because this friend did not say anything that I said. I felt like, okay, fine. I felt like, okay. He literally is making an and trying to make him see reason with what he did. His friend was literally validating him. His in-law, yeah, because he's my my sister, was literally validating him and telling him, "Oh, here yeah, you 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 did this you." And the fact that Cody is trying to talk about how his inner demons are building in, how he's having evil thought, how he's having wicked thoughts, a lot of things been going through his mind. Has he ever sat down and thought, what if these things are going on in my mind? What are the things that are going on in the minds of my wife? All these years they've been telling me, Cody, there needs to be a church. What has been going on in their mind? I don't think he has ever thought that. And the fact that he was trying to make an excuse that, oh, um, Mayor was um, pursued, Janelle and Christina wanted to be in it, then Robbie was invited also. So, like, what I tried to say, that Mare and Robin are the ones who deserve respect, Why Christina and no don't deserve respect. If I don't like a certain life, I would not put myself in that situation. So I believe that at that time, 
She now and Christina saw that life, saw you and felt like, okay, fine. I love this lifestyle. I want to be in this and I love it. And they went for courtship. And you guys came to a mutual agreement. If you don't like somebody, you try to court somebody and you don't like the person, you don't feel like the person will sit into your lifestyle. It's, it's up to you to say no. You had a mutual agreement and you agreed and be like, okay, fine. I, yeah. The moment you allow them to be in that lifestyle of yours, that was the invitation. You didn't, it didn't have to be that. They decided to come by themselves and, and, you know, talk to you. The moment you said yes to the marriage and got married to them in whatever way, spiritually and anything, you accepted the invitation. You invited him to your household. But for him to try to make the excuse that, oh, um, and the reason why I'm this is because they were invited and the other ones were pursued. Really? At the end of the day, they're still your wife. Whether it was a pursuing or invitation or whatever way, they are still your wife. And you literally fucked up there by not being a good husband. You didn't do a good job by being a good plural husband. And the party was like, I expected some things from them. There was an expectation of a lot of things. Yes. Going into a plural marriage, there are a lot of expectations. But as somebody coming into a plural marriage as a wife, there's expectations from you two as the husband that these things, you as a husband, are supposed to do it. Did you keep your own bargain, end of the bargain? Did you do the things that you needed to do as a husband? Now you are requiring, is like asking for something but not giving. This life is, is about give and take. You can't demand from them, but you're literally giving them the bare minimum. And you expect them to do the same, give you all, everything about them, but you're giving the bare minimum. How is that going to work? I don't know in what region, in what world, in what planet did he think that was going to work? That he was given the bare minimum, but he expected a fool from the other wives. Did you do things that you were supposed to do as a plural husband? Did you give the same amount of love you're supposed to give as a plural husband? Did you show the amount of care you were supposed to care for the all other wives as a plural husband? I'm sure you did not. You did not do all those things, but you were expecting everything that the wife supposed to do as wives in plural marriages. You can't give me a one third of your time, your attention, your love, and you expect me to give you all the hundred percent of mine. And that is what the wife was saying. That was what you know, and. Um, Christina was saying, even man was literally begging for her to have lasted this long. And you're saying that, um, the, what, what would piss me off was like, I, I forgot that language you said about something loneliness, about them being lonely. Why, like, really? Now you're going to try and make excuses why they are reacting like, own up to your mistake, Cody. Own up to your mistake. It's not the women's duty to perform their own duty and perform your own duty as a husband. And the fact he kept on repeating of how his demons are bad, how they, they should not have expected 100% of him. But if you are saying they should not have expected 100% of yours, you gave 100% of your own time to one person. So how would I be looking from the outside? I'm seeing that you're giving 100% to somebody else. Why I am just looking at you, giving me the bare minimum. It takes a toll on somebody. And you're saying they, they didn't have the right to ask of your 100%. But you were seeing of their own 100%. Stop contradicting yourself, Cody. Stop. You can't ask for their own 100%, but you don't want to give 100%. You are not expecting them to ask for your 100%. No. If you give 20%, expect 20% from me too. Don't be giving 20% and you're expecting 100%. That's not how life works. 
it has to be balanced for things to work out the way it should work out. It has to be very, very balanced. And his friend telling him his inner demons came out doing his own divorce. He understands where he's coming from. This is not a good guy. This friend of his is not a good person to talk to. They just look like weak men that are trying to put the excuses of their failure on women. That is how it looks to me. The way they were talking, it looked like weak men that are trying to put their failures in their life on the women in their lives. And the time he kept on talking about, oh, Christmas, I did Christmas alone. Um, Janelle and Christina are out doing their own Christmas things. Like, I understand that they want to do Christmas separate, but how is that concerning your children? You and your spouse might not be at a good place, but the children are not the cause of your problems in the marriage. The children did not do anything to you. So as much as anything that is going on between you and your spouse, between you and Janelle, between you and Christina, it's a simple phone call to your children. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Could have even been okay. You are blaming everything on the mothers and you are blaming that your children don't have a relationship with you. You're blaming that your children are like looking at you like with disgust. What? Why wouldn't they? Ask yourself. You're celebrating Christmas and you couldn't call your daughters, couldn't call your, your other children because they decided to stick with their mom. Their mom that has had their back all through everything that has happened. They decided to stick with their mom were they supposed to stick with you? Why leaving their mom lonely? Just to make you happy. Because of your control that you want to have. Like, you want to have this big control. Like, yeah, I'm able to control things. You, you ain't able to control things. You did not do a great job. You could not call your children. I understand you might not want to be, see, be in the presence of Janelle. You might not want to be in the presence of Christina. Yes. Quite understandable. But for the fact that you couldn't even call your children, you couldn't even send gifts down to them, you could literally send their gifts, their Christmas presents. You knew where they were. You knew, you knew that they were there. They, they, they were not fights. It's not like they were in another state, in another country. Or you could even you could you could have even popped up and be like, I just wanted to say hi to my kids. That would have been okay. Pop them and say, I want to say hi to my kids and like walk out later and like go back to your, as you say, your very obedient wife. Your very loyal wife. You ask yourself, why do you think Ruben, Robbie is very loyal to you? Even now she's fine, she's pissed off with you. Like she's like, she's not even liking the side of you. But I feel like now she has dug the hole for herself. Like at the end of the day, she has to cut, she started something, she has to finish it. You were being in a plural relationship and you were acting as a monogamous person. How is that gonna work? And now you are trying to say, is I after five years I've been working hard to keep this family. Is it bad? And right now, when I see them. I feel relieved when, when any wife tells me she wants to leave. So don't, don't deceive yourself, Cody. Don't, don't deceive yourself, Cody. You've always wanted them to leave. You literally gaslighted them. You literally manipulated them to make them want to leave first because you know that it's going to sound awful. It's going to look awful if you were the first one to come and say, I want a divorce. People are going to come for you. You are going to be disliked. You are going to be hated. So you literally gaslighted them. You literally manipulated them 
look like fools so as for them to be like you know what i don't think i can take this i don't think i want to be in this kind of situation and gaslighted them to be the ones who be asked for divorce so that you come as the higher person like i didn't ask for divorce in, even if the, the relationship was troubling even if the relationship was breaking every relationship was not even in existence at least i didn't ask for divorce that is the thing you are holding on everybody at least even even when the relationship was going sour i did not ask for divorce that's that is not a something of praise that's not what you should pat yourself at the back for that you didn't ask for divorce even when the marriage was in trouble that you didn't ask Mary for a divorce even after since the the, the scandal stuff you didn't ask for divorce then that's what you're using to praise yourself you literally gaslighted me made her feel like a useless person like she was like thin air you don't notice her you don't even recognize her as a wife you don't even recognize even as a best friend or even a friend or even anything you don't even recognize her. you don't see her as that you gaslighted them you didn't ask for divorce for me every other person would have literally probably asked for me divorce from me but he didn't because you wanted to come at the person as you guys let her made her feel disgust for herself made her feel like yeah i don't want you here make the right like telling her you know i don't want you here but i want you to make the decision for yourself you wouldn't make the decision for her you wouldn't make her known that her presence is not needed her presence is not needed you have already made her feel that man cody 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 this guy literally makes me so annoying every episode as in he makes me so annoying and the way he thinks i don't know how he thinks his thoughts his chain of thoughts his reasoning is literally different Well, at the end of the day, that is Cody. But I'm happy that Janelle is seeing the side of Cody and she's moving forward with herself in life because I wouldn't want that. As much as I want the kids to have their father in their life, not someone like Cody. He's not worth it at the end of the day. He's not worth it. You guys. Thanks for hanging out, hanging out with us today. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. If you like our video, click on the like button to like our video. And also comment on your thoughts on today's episode of Sister's Wife. And also click on the subscription button down below to subscribe. So you can also click on the subscription button to get notified when we upload a video. You can also join our membership, guys. Join our membership. Send us a post chat. Super stickers. Very, very much appreciated. I'll see you guys next week.